the males have started saying drizzle drizzle like sprinkle sprinkle it's a new generation of men so are are so feminine <laughs> Drizzle, drizzle. I thought they was talking about Drake. Women start complaining, oh, these men don't want commitment. I wonder why, because you're broke. Why would I want to be committed to a broke bitch? What the- this Top comment says they giving loose coochie. <laughs> so I'm texting this girl and she keep asking, what you doing, what you doing? I'm like, I had to go ahead and block her, bro. Because what you're not gonna do is you're not finna keep asking me what you doing. And then when I tell you what I'm doing, and I say I'm about to buy me some cologne, you don't send me half the money. Joseph YouTube, you welcome to what's boring my name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I really think a lot of people missed what happened recently. So of course we're about to do a recap. Do women actually know that men aren't playing around anymore about their standards? Do they actually realize how serious they are? About not going 50-50 on bills. No, no, no. About seeing how much do you want it? We're talking about how much do you want a man? How much do you want that ring? We need you to step up. And guys, what's crazy about this video is I just need you to do one thing for me to show appreciation for this movement because they're coming for your boy. They're coming for every man out here who's raising their standards. So make sure you follow me on Facebook. Hit that link. Follow me on Facebook if you support the coffee and want to drink coffee over there on Facebook as well. We're about to get into it because none other than Shira Seven, the original gold digging queen, responded back to the soft guy era movement. It sounds like a lot of chicks. <laughs> Women listen to men pretending to be in their soft guy era because, you know, we know we sound ridiculous, but they really listen to that and think, well, that's not how we sound. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's exactly how you sound. That's exactly how you sound. Accept it. And looks like the original spar uh, sparkle, sparkle, sprinkle, sprinkle chick just responded to. So we're about to get into it and others things today let's get it started saying drizzle drizzle like sprinkle sprinkle it's a new generation hold on hold on hold on we gotta take that back to the very beginning let's go so the males have started saying drizzle drizzle like sprinkle sprinkle it's a new generation of men so are are so feminine <laughs> drizzle drizzle i thought they was talking about drake it doesn't stick as good as sprinkle sprinkle though. it kind of does very creative see what i'm talking about guys ridiculous sound like they're actually drooling <laughs> okay it, hit that link man we gotta we gotta protect we have to protect the movement it has to keep going like you drooling sound like your water bill about to get cut off anyway <laughs> what i want to know is how are the women who are begging for money and are searching for a rich man because that's what she teaches is how to lock down a rich man or something like that how are those the women calling you broke how are those the women calling me broke how the how are those the women calling the average man broke when you're the one who's out here desperate for a man to pay for your shit somebody please make it make sense sound like your water pressure low you live in a bad area all right there you go that's that um, let's see what else we have here. We have more examples, more examples of men who are raising the bar and standards. Maybe there's something you want to share. Make sure you share it down in the comment section down below. Let's go. So I'm texting this girl and she keep asking, what you doing? What you doing? I'm like, man, I'm at the mall. I'm about to get me some cologne and shit. She right. was like, oh, okay. And, um, what you going to be doing after that? I had to go ahead and block her, bro. Because what you're not going to do is you're not going to keep asking me what you're doing. And then when I tell you what I'm doing and I say I'm about to buy me some cologne, you don't send me half the money. Right. That's unacceptable. <laughs> That's just low effort. And I don't care that I didn't ask you for the money. You should just know. You should read my mind. You should understand. Right. That if I'm buying me, if, if I'm buying me something, 
why aren't you chipping in? Why aren't you pitching in to help me get whatever it is that I'm trying to buy? You're not, you're, you're, you're worthless right now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And I, and, and I really don't feel bad about it. Cause why are you in my life? Why are you here? And then I, I, this, this really your third day in a row texting me, asking me what I'm doing. I, you see, when he does it, it's a comedy set. When women do it, it's real life. They expect you literally pay for their groceries. How ridiculous. I tell you what I'm doing, you don't make the efforts to make plans. You don't you don't you don't make the efforts to try to see me. I gotta get you out of here. Mm. Cause honestly, I could I, I, I do everything by myself anyway. So if you're not adding to my life immediately when we first meet, it's like why are you here? Mm. I got to get you gone. I'm in my soft guy era, and I won't accept nothing less. Nothing less. Nothing less. Let's see what the comments have to say. Of course, we're going to check out the comments. First comment here says, she's supposed to send you money for something you were going to buy anyway. I'm an old head. It's not mathing up. We got a boomer here who doesn't understand what's going on. Somebody responded back and says, us old heads are rolling in our graves. It sounds so shocking. It took me a minute to realize it's a joke, a flip of the script. Another person here says, exactly, laugh out loud. He's just joking because the females today be tripping. Let's see if he responded. I'm trying to see his response. Nah. See, that's sad. He's going to walk around talking about how, oh, here he is. Okay, he says, I don't think one can get to my age without learning something. And I learned today. I hope it not a crime to still have an open mind. Listen, this man right here taking accountabilities in his later part of his life. He's just learning. You know, he's just catching up. But that's hilarious. Another person here says, oh, how the tables have turned. This soft guy era is hilarious. We're just catching up, man. Another person here says, drizzle, drizzle. Somebody else here says, know your worth, king. Drizzle, drizzle. We have a woman here who supports the movement. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Now, hit the cash app. Head over to Facebook and follow Chisha Zed on Facebook and show some real support. Right. Somebody else who says half? Nah, King. She needs to send the full amount. Drizzle, drizzle. Here's somebody else who says you can't really tell from the angle of the video, but He's standing on business. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Somebody else here says, OMG, y'all too much. No, we are just right where we're supposed to be. High up with our standards. Somebody else here says, I'm loving our soft guy era. Let's check out more, man. Let's see what else other people have to say. Can someone please comment down below something that you are no longer putting up with in 2024? Can you comment down below? Let me know something that you are no longer putting up with in 2024. Let's keep watching. We've got somebody else here. Let's go. Something I'm starting to notice is a lot of women are starting to debate against what us men are talking about when it comes to soft guy era. Huh. A lot of women are coming with logic to our video saying, hey, this might not work out. You might not find the person that you're looking for when you live in your soft guy era. Well, first off, we didn't ask for your unsolicited advice. Right, right. We didn't ask for your opinion. Right. We came to the internet with our feelings and our emotions. If it doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. It doesn't have to make sense. Maybe you're just too broke to understand. <laughs> if I wanted your opinion, I would have asked, but I understand that I came to a public app where people can respond to my video with their opinion. But if I didn't ask you, why are you sitting why are you? making a video about it? Right. Even if it is logical, needs to be understood is this is the time of us being equal. Everything is about equal, equal, equal. But yes, some of you are getting upset saying men are stealing things from you. We're equal. We're Ooh. sharing. That's what us equal folks do. Mm. It's not about one is better than the other mm. or one can't do this and the other can. If we're equal, we can share and we can do everything the same because we're equal. Right. We're the same. But please understand, y'all's unsolicited opinions, even Not though they welcome. might be logical. Right. This is my life. These are my feelings. I understand you might want the best for me, but I'm going to live in my world and do what I want because this is 
my life and I don't care about anything else or anybody else. Couldn't have said it better myself. Couldn't have said it better myself. Let's check out some of these comments. First comment here says, Soft Guy Era, the perfect mirror to her delusion. She can't stand it. She can't. She can't. If I want to walk off a cliff, let me walk off a cliff. Bottom line, plain blank, period. Somebody else here says, drizzle, drizzle. Here's another comment that says, they trying to invalidate our feelings. How dare they? How dare they? Here's somebody else who responded back to that comment and says, I love how fast it's moving around. Here's another person who says, team, equal, uh, team equality, drizzle, drizzle. Another comment here says, a household with two incomes is a must. That's why my girl works two jobs. <laughs> yes, sir. Drizzle, drizzle. Another comment here says, hope she's cooking for you when she's home as well. Yes. Yes, but it's not official till she's doing the yard work. That's right. Somebody else here, a woman, says, I'm here for the soft guy era. I hope your account reaches all women. Ma'am, please stay out of men's business. This coffee smells like shit. We don't like that coffee. Here's somebody else who says, if she wanted to, she would. Yes, 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 yes. Again, don't be shy, gentlemen. Comment down below what you're not willing to put up with. In 2024, make sure that you keep the coffee alive. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, man. I'm going to keep throwing my tag, my Facebook tag in there because we need to grow. We've got somebody else here. Let's take a listen. I'm in my soft guy era. The Tesla is just bare minimum. You know what? I thought, I thought it was a pretty good gift when my girlfriend got me this Tesla, but that was like a year ago. And... Now I realize that it's good, but it's not good enough. Yeah. So I'm going to talk to her because she's working a server job, and I know she's making at least $75,000 a year. Right. So two years of salary should buy me like a Lamborghini Gallardo. Oh, and also we're using filters in our soft guy era now. Are we? I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can go that far. Somebody else here says drizzle, drizzle, all 2024. See. Obviously, like men can come together and do this and raise our standards. And we're all in a, we're all in alignment here. Here's another person who says a man who says only 75 K King, you deserve better. Yeah, that's broke people shit. Somebody else here says get a, Re a Rivian R1S. Somebody else here says single until marriage, drizzle, drizzle. Here's somebody else who added, you deserve everything, King, drizzle, drizzle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's keep it pushing. Here's another video. Again, as I'm doing this, I need you to share what you're not putting up with anymore. What you're not putting up with anymore. How high? Because, guys, one thing you have to remember that we've learned, and of course, the women taught us this. There's no limit to how high you can raise your standards. So I don't want to see like minimum. I don't want to see minimum stuff down below. I want to, I don't want to see the bare minimum. I want to see you raise your standards to the sky. Give me a second here. I don't know what's going on with this. Hold on. Here we go. All right. All right. We're in business. We're in business. Bam. Let's go. Men like women anymore, and I mean this whole serious. Oh, I know this dude. This guy's like a pander. This guy's like the TikTok Derek Jackson. He's still active out here. It seems like every time there's a trend where women say something, men have to rebel back, and then they take it to an extreme. Understand something, ugly. The women are not looking for you. So when you got <laughs> this man's effed up. I say, oh, I'm in a soft guy era. Girls gotta come to me. Girls wasn't coming to you before. Wow. Oh, y'all get mad. Hold y'all horses. Okay. I know, bro. Okay. Hold on. He's one of us. Okay. He, Shout out to Scarface Mark. He's been living in his soft guy era. Huh. He's been living in it. And Lou, do y'all know he's on our side? He's been living in his soft guy era. Huh. He got proof. I can show you better than I can tell you. That's it. Oh, shit. No broke women. This man's telling you. This man's telling you not to embrace your soft guy era while he's, while he's out here pulling out. Are those $100 bills? Guys, we got to raise the standards higher. We've got to go higher.
scratch off what you wrote before, write something else down below that you're not putting up with. Because if he's getting this, he's showing us how to really do it. Get on TikTok, lie to the women, right? So that you can make money off the lies. Let's be honest. This man's really showing us how to do it the right way. People like him and Derek Jackson. They're really living a soft life off the backs of women. <laughs> they're feeding this man and taking care of him. I, I get it. No broke women. Gave him 10 bands for his birthday inside the cake. Wow. Hmm. Drizzlations, chapter 1, verse 5. No broke hopes. Drizzlations 2, verse 3. If she's not reciprocating energy, cut her off. If she can't do for you what you do for her, right. cut her off. This is what it means to be in your soft guy era. We stand on business. Y'all might think he's an op, but he's playing a game right. on a whole different level. Just think about what I'm saying. No, no, no. He's you're... playing the game on a whole different level. He's on our side. He's... Mm -hmm. Think about it. Y'all call him a panderer. Come on now. On a different level. Let's check out this comment. This person says he's our secret agent, a.k.a. Double O Drizzle. Drizzle. <laughs> Double O Drizzle Drizzle. Somebody else here says, oh, so he want to be the only Drizzle Drizzle soft guy. Yes. This man's trying to gatekeep. That's all he's doing. Somebody else here says he's a double agent. Somebody else here added, you just blew his cover. Somebody else, you know, honestly, guys, this is so true. It's not even funny. The amount of money that Steve Harvey, Derek Jackson, and men like the dude we just watched make off women and lying to them, they just don't want you to know what's really going on. But we know what's really going on. We know what's really going on. Moving on. Let's see here. Let's go. So I'm at the gas station, right? And this joint, she pull up in the 2024 S-Class Benz. Hmm. She come over and she starts spitting game. I'm like, okay, okay. She know she balling. She's saying all the right things. He asked me out to lunch. I'm like, bet, we can go out to lunch. And she said, I'll come pick you up. I'm like, okay, she already As she should. <laughs> coming off proper. All right. Bet. When she come pick me up, she come pick me up in the 2021 Camry. I'm like, yo, what happened to your Benz? She gonna say it's in the shop. I'm just taking notes because the more, the more I hear, the more I'm understanding how much I won't put up with. I'm like, all right, let me not judge. Let me not judge. Let me give it a chance and shit. So, you know, I'm like, all right, let's just go. Yes, in my marriage. <laughs> we get to the restaurant and it's Red Lobster. I'm like, yo, what we doing here? She's like, what you mean? What you don't like seafood? I'm like, no, I like seafood, but not from Red Lobster. I only eat at four star and up. And she's like, what? I'm like, yo. What I look like, some bum ass nigga? She said, I thought we was gonna split the bill. I'm like, split the bill? Right there, I got up and left. All right? I'm like, yo, what I look like, some bum ass nigga? Listen, if you ain't got six figures, you ain't getting with this nigga. I got 20 followers on TikTok. I'm buzzing right now. Girl, right. who you think you talking to? Soft guy era. Soft guy era. Soft guy era. Hey, I think he did too much talking. I think there was way too much talking. All right, so this comment says, a housewife with two incomes is a must. That's why, oh, okay, this is a, this is a same comment. Here's another person who says, you got 25 followers now. LOL, here's another person who says, let the soft guy era reign eternally. Drizzle, drizzle. Somebody else here says, facts, drizzle, drizzle. Here's another person who says, if she can't read your mind, she can't read your heart. <laughs> here's another person who says, no hymen, no diamond. Yo. I like that one. I like that one. No hymen, no diamond. Yo, you guys are wild. Somebody else here added, don't settle. Drizzle, drizzle. Here's another person who says, you gave her a chance, King. She folded. Drizzle, drizzle. Here's another person who says, so this is what the eclipse did. Yo, let's keep looking. Let's keep hearing. Let's keep taking in more truth. Again, again, head over to um, Facebook, pin comment to the top, give your boy a follow on there as well. Let's keep listening. Ooh, this person privated their video. They didn't want anybody to see 
what they had going on. Let's see. He must have lowered his standards. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. What else do we have here? So my paycheck gets direct deposited to my man's account. As she should. Drizzle, drizzle. Shout out to that queen for taking care of a king. Right. She definitely knows her man's worth. That's right. That woman is always going to keep a man. Her man is always going to come home. Because how are you going to have a king who has all these responsibilities and you want him to continue to break his back for you mm -hmm. and you don't contribute anything to the pot? Nah, nah. Those women who be, who be advocating that, those women are single. They're on different dates every weekend. They can't secure a man. But that woman over there, she's definitely catering to her king. And she knows that a good man deserves your whole paycheck. You know, what's the point of you taking that paycheck? And most women, they use their money frivolously. Mm. Frivolously. Mm -hmm. This woman has a budget. She knows how to use her budget. And she knows that putting the money together is the best thing to, best thing to do. The only thing on her budget is my man. <laughs> That's the only thing on her budget. Let's go. This 2024 soft guy era is amazing because now we're able to come into our masculine aura right. and be the, be the men that we're supposed to be. This soft guy era is the best thing that happened to us. I want to, I want to second what he said. What we need is we need women to create an environment for us to be masculine. Until then, um, we're just going to be sitting back and waiting. Let's check out another here. Let's see what else we have. Let's check it out. Oh, major it today in my soft guy era. So I went to Walmart to buy. We really have everybody on the soft guy era movement. Let's keep listening. My new headlamp uh, bulb for my uh, car. I'm going out and I was looking in the manual to see which um, exact bulb I needed. And someone, some woman came up to me and asked me where the car floor mats were. Uh, it's such a major ache I turned and I yelled at her at the top of my voice. Do not approach men in public, you <laughs> creep. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Such an ache. You guys know the video he's talking about, man? He's talking about... Let me see if I can find it right here. Um, do not approach... I actually did a video on this. It's the chick who was screaming, do not approach men in public. And she... You guys have to remember this video. Let me see if I can find it. That video was crazy because she was screaming at a man who was just trying to shoot a shot at her. She was in a parking lot. Let me see. I'm trying to see if it'll come up. Uh, anyways. Can't seem to find it. Let's move on. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we have here. New cut. Who this? I'm gonna sign and get some meat from McDonald's. McDonald's. I just got a hundred dollar haircut. Do I look like a McDonald's nigga? You better take my Capitol Grill. I don't even know my name no more. They keep calling me handsome. <laughs> For free? What? Oh no. I just got a hundred dollar haircut. Do I look like a horny nigga? Self respect. Mm -hmm. That man probably paid for his haircut by himself. What does he look like? Disrespecting his body for someone that didn't see his value. Mm. We are in the soft guy era. If you are not paying for a haircut. You do not get access to me. Mm. And McDonald's, fast food, into this temple? You better go find somebody else. Once again, we are requiring the best. And if you can't meet those standards and or your pockets do not come to the right caliber, you better go find somebody else because it's not going to work. I think we've got more here to check out. Let's go. And just admit it, like a lot of y'all dudes really do want a man. She's like, mad. I'm just saying, like, 
dudes getting on live talking about how they in their soft boy era <laughs> and they want to be taken care of and they want dates and they want flowers like why as a man do you want somebody to spoil you like as a man it should make you feel good to provide to do for your woman like broke she loves me she she obviously loves me y'all she's been in my old videos and my comments before but one thing i realize is but that was also a throwback to what's her face comment down below women really hate men that know their worth mm. like on some real i'm not even joking when we stand on business women hate that they truly do these women don't want real men these women want men that they can control they want men that are insecure <laughs> and will do whatever they say <laughs> they just want a man a little puppy dog they want a man that they can control. Right. And once they see a man isn't going for that, they run away. They just run away. So, yeah, we want women that will show love back and that will give back, that will reciprocate our energy. We're not going to sit here and get used. This is not the old days. It's either step up or get left. We are in our soft guy era. We're not going for this no more. Y'all better step it up because we're not playing. She said as a man, it should feel good to provide for a woman. No, it does not feel good being used. It does not. It doesn't feel good paying all the bills yourself. Right. Handling everything yourself. It does not feel good. That actually leaves a lot of men stressed out and unappreciated. But you want to know what actually feels good? A woman that respects you and reciprocates energy. That's what feels good. All right. See, that was that was like a lot of actual real shit that was said there in that video let's check out some of these comments of course top comment here says soft guy era stand up somebody else here added all i heard out of her mouth was i <laughs> was hi i'm broke <laughs> here's somebody else who says it's not the soft it's hold on it's not the soft guy era it's the smart guy era we're playing it smart now yes sir somebody else here says her voice makes me soft <laughs> Somebody else here says two incomes is better than well, since I, we've already seen that one. Somebody else here added partnership over sponsorship. And the men like myself who are taken, we're just watching proudly from the sidelines. So apparently there's this new thing going around where all men are calling themselves, you know, they're saying that they're in their soft guy era. Yes. And I have a message to all you men out there. You're not men. You're kings. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> so am I, baby. Right, right. Matter of fact, I'm a 10. And you're a 10 as well. <laughs> Soft guy summer, baby. Let's go. We ain't going nowhere. Let's go. Drizzle, drizzle, baby. Drizzle, drizzle. Yes, sir. I wasn't sure where that's going to go. Somebody else here says, no hymen, no dime. We already saw that. Somebody else here says, deleted paragraph. <laughs> In parentheses, here's somebody else who says, Soft guy era for life. Here's another person who says, I have raised my standards. There's a drizzle. Somebody else here added, if she wanted to, she would. Drizzle, drizzle. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. More, more, more. We've got more. Got a couple more here for you. Men are becoming way more sassy. How? And way more like they How? Because girls are fighting for like equality. You like, said you're independent. Right. We are. Like, nobody's chasing you. You are. Nobody's. <laughs> you, you are. I'm not going to lie. All I heard was I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. Right. It'd be the same girl saying, I don't need a man. I don't need shit from a man. I'm an independent mommy. Like, what do I need a man for? Okay. Move in alignment with that. Why do you keep talking? <laughs> right? Now that I'm in my soft guy era, I'm starting to realize you guys actually do need us. We actually are the prize. You guys beg us. When are you, when are you going to take me serious? Never. <laughs> How about that? Never. I'm never taking you serious because you're not paying for anything. Right, right. You're like, you're just broke as shit. And then this man has a script down and the mannerisms. You want me to take you serious and date, you No, pick up a bill. Once you pick up a bill, now we can start to talk. Women start complaining. Oh, these men don't want commitment. I wonder why, because you're broke. Why would I want to be committed to a broke? What the f is that? Mm. Some of y'all women are actually super disturbing. How can your whole outfit be from Sheen or Fashion Nova and you're asking me for a Chanel bag, right? <laughs> you should figure out how you can see if you can work at FedEx to get your money up. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's check out more comments. Top comment says they're giving loose coochie. <laughs> they're giving loose coochie energy. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. Here's somebody else who says they just want to be with a war- with other women. Drizzle, drizzle. Here's another person who says, fellas, I missed the man's meeting last week. This what we agreed on? Soft guy era? <laughs> he he He's a little bit late. Here's somebody else who says, all I heard from her mouth was, I'm broke. Here's somebody else who says, I'm just, I just got the ick. Drizzle, drizzle. Let's see, let's see. Somebody. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's what I, I was thinking that. <laughs> I can't even read this comment. <laughs> um, I'm, I was thinking this exact same comment. <laughs> This dude said, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This dude says, bro got too into character. <laughs> Another person responded back and says, he's starting to believe, which is good. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> Another person here says, he's gone. <laughs> Woo. Another comment here says, this is not a character. This is a lifestyle. Here's another comment that says, he's start. Uh, hold on. Okay. Oh, man. Um, I need a drink. Listen, this is a perfect time to hit that link pinned to the top of the cup. Stop bringing it up, Chisha. No, 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 no. I need you guys to go over there. I need you guys to go over there. Um, let's see what else we have here. Another comment says, long story short, she's broke. Tinkle, tinkle. Okay. We've got a couple more. Just a couple more here. Just a couple more. Let's see. Women have said for hundreds of years that men age like a fine wine. Hmm. Well, baby girl, fine wines are expensive. Drizzle, drizzle. Get ready to spend. If you can't give me your flyer miles to take me somewhere that I haven't been yet, which right. is 24 countries, then it just shows me that you don't value fine wine. Drizzle, drizzle. It means you've never had it. You've never been good enough to have it. Mm. You've never been able to afford it. And if you can't afford a fine wine or never have it, how can I trust you to treat me right like the fine wine that I am? Drizzle, drizzle. You see, I'm a business owner. Mm. I've been around, but I'm in my soft guy era. Okay. I need a girl that's doing better than me. I already have 150 properties in Airbnb. I've already made $10 million. I need something new to me. Right. If you don't have 300 properties, four Bugattis, if you don't have a billion in your bank account, then you're not doing better than me. And you can't afford this wine, Drizzle Drizzle. You see, I'm educated. I'm cultured. I can cook. I've got gray in my beard. I know my value. Drizzle Drizzle. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good out here for modern women. Last video here we're going to check out. Oh, they took it down. Another fallen man who couldn't keep true to his word, I think. Listen, guys. Of course I'm curious to know what you think. And I hope you wrote down below what exactly you're not putting up with anymore in 2024. Guys, I appreciate you. I had to make sure I doubled back on this just so we can recap because a lot of this stuff was hilarious. Do you guys think that they caught the message? Maybe they didn't. Comment down below. I appreciate you guys always. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.